Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. So today we are starting a new chapter named as our environment. Okay. So you might have heard the word environment. Students, environment often being used on the television, in newspaper and by people around us okay so it is often used by our surroundings our elders tell us that environment is not but it used to be earlier okay others say that we should work in a healthy environment and global summits involving the developed and developing countries are regularly held to discuss environmental issues okay so in this chapter we shall be studying how various factors in environment interact with each other and how we impact the environment okay so first we gonna discuss is what happens when we add our waste to the environment so this is we gonna discuss first okay so students have you ever wondered have you ever wondered that why when we eat that the food we eat the food we eat is digested by various enzymes in our body various enzymes in our body okay but same enzyme some enzyme does not break down everything we eat but same enzymes doesn't break down everything we eat okay so enzymes are specific in their actions specific enzymes are needed for the breakdown of a particular substance specific enzymes are needed for the breakdown of a particular substance of a particular substance okay so that is why we will not get any energy if we try to eat coal okay because of this many human made materials like plastic will not be broken down by the action of bacteria or other saprophytes so what i am writing here is because of this because of this many human made materials like materials like plastic will not be broken down by will not be broken down 
by action of bacteria by sorry by the action of bacteria or other saprophytes saprophytes students let me first delete okay so these materials so these materials will be acted upon by physical processes like will be acted upon by physical processes like heat like heat and pressure but under the ambient conditions found in our environment so these substances that are broken down by biological process are said to be biodegradable the substances that are broken down by biological processes bio logical processes are said to be biodegradable okay and similarly the substances that are not broken down that are not broken down by biological processes are called are called non biodegradable non bio degradable so these substances may be inert and simply persist in the environment for a longer period of time and may affect the ecosystem okay so students so this is what happens when we add our waste to the environment okay so if you have still any doubt or any question based on this lecture then please do comment in the comment section students in the next lecture i will discuss ecosystem and what are its components